Hello contractors, this is Jack Sheffield, Jack the exam guy. We're talking about the contract administration exam only today. All right, so I've developed a course for those people who are taking the general building or residential contractor exams. They've passed the business and finance, they've passed the contract administration, excuse me, they've passed the project management, but they, they, they failed the contract administration. This is relatively unusual. So I've developed a special course just for those people. The reason it's unusual, let me kind of explain a little bit. Okay, on the contract administration, all references are fair game, all right? Now there, but there is a heavy emphasis on the contractor's manual, all right? The AIA documents, the building code, chapters one, for 31, 32, and 33. So, you do, so they've got some building code questions. They've got some plan questions, all right? And then they have some contractor math questions in addition to the business questions. Okay, so generally what happens is somebody will, you know, pass, eventually pass, maybe not on the first time, will pass the business and finance exam. And since there is so much information on this exam, on the contractor's manual in the AIA documents, which were in the business and finance exam, that they generally just add a few things and then they, they get past the contract administration and then they may struggle in the project management. But in your case, if you're taking this course, you've struggled on the contract administration, which is a little unique and a little bit challenging because you have all the business books that you are responsible for and all the trade books that you're responsible for. But on the trade books, they really don't hit all of them and they may just hit a question or two here or there, except for the building code, okay, the chapters here that I have for you. And then once again, they're gonna, you're going to have a set of plans and you're going to have some plan questions that you're going to have to answer. And then you've got some contractor math, you know, we're talking about you know, CMUs, we're talking about uh, uh, yards of concrete, you know, we may be talking some elevations and that kind of stuff. So you've got heavy on your business books and also some, some contractor math and plans questions and some code questions, especially code questions when you're talking about uh, permits and uh, safeguards during construction and so on and so forth. So um, it's challenging. So I've developed this course. Now what's going to happen is this course has your contractor's manual stuff. It's got all those chapters that take you through the contractor's manual with the practice exams. It's got the AIA documents and the practice exams that go with it. We don't hit the, uh, the builder's guide to accounting because you don't need that. Now you also, I also put the business math in there because you still need to understand percentage of completion. You may have to do a bond calculation. You may even have to do some depreciation. So I've left that stuff in there so that, you know, so that just in case you get some of those business math questions, then you get some, you know, more heavy duty contractor math questions. So there's all those, your plan questions and so forth. So um, let's, uh, let's just talk a little bit about the, uh, uh, the math itself, or excuse me, the exam itself. Once again, it's four and a half hours. You probably know that already because you've taken it before. Uh, and, and it kind of, I, I break it down, general 65, building 55, residential 50, four minutes a question on the general. Most people are taking the general. Four minutes a question, you got to be at 15 questions an hour. All right. So anyway, uh, they do, I include the pilot questions in here because you have to assume the pilot questions are real questions. And so mine, if you look at what the state tells you, they're going to tell you there's only 60 questions in the general. 50 questions in the building and 45 in the residential because they don't include those pilot questions. Okay, these are questions that they're testing out. So anyway, that's kind of a just a brief introduction to the course and just take those course one module at a time. You may have seen a lot of this information before. If you're already real familiar with it, you can just go ahead and skip that particular module and go into the next one. Um, but uh, and as, as always, you can contact me at any time um at uh at my email jack the exam guy at gmail.com i appreciate your business and i look forward to working with you